welcome to my studio. We're down here at my workspace and I'm going to teach you how to make a paper clay book cover. First thing you need to do is decide what size you want your book your book to be and what shape because it can be any shape you want. I'm going with a plain square here and what I did is I covered a piece of um, chipboard with some foil. And you need to cover it with foil because the paper clay will not stick to the foil when you're all done. So get it all good and covered in the size that you want. Then you're going to open up your paper clay. You can get paper clay at Michael's, you know, those kind of places. And grab a pretty decent sized chunk. You can always be put back whatever you don't use. And I knead it just a little bit just to get it going, get it flowing. And then I use a PVC pipe to roll it out. Now you're going to be rolling this out to about, you don't want it too thin, but you don't want it too thick either. So I would say about a quarter inch thick. And you want it to be a little larger than the um, shape that we just made out of the foil. So let's test this out. Okay, just a little bigger. Okay, that looks good. So then I put my foil piece on there and I very carefully cut around it with a, um, this is just a um, plastic fork or knife, I should say. And you want it to be just a little larger than your foil piece that we just made. So, okay. I'm going to set that one aside because we need to make a second one. I'm going to use all my scraps here. Grab another big chunk of paper clay. Again, get it kneaded, get it going. I think I'm going to use a little more than that. Okay, I got a good piece going here. Good knead it. Again, I'm going to roll it out. And again, you're making this the same as we just did that last one. About a quarter inch thick and about a quarter inch bigger than your shape that you made out of the foil. Okay, that looks good. Make sure it fits. It does. Perfect. Again, I'm going to cut around this. Get rid of all my excess. Now, your next step is to leave that piece, your foil, inside there and we're going to take the one that we made just a few minutes ago I'm going to lay it on top of this one. Now I want you to start making these two into a basically a sandwich. I want it to be one whole piece of clay. So as you see I'm going all the way around and I'm pinching my edges together getting it all nice and smooth. You want to pay some attention to this and get it really really well done. You want it to become one piece of clay. And I know you're thinking, how am I going to open my book? But just trust me on this. We're going to get there. So I'm going to keep going around, making my clay all one. One big piece of clay with that pattern in the center. Okay, this is looking good. See how it's really nice and smooth and almost, you can't see the seams anymore? That's what you want. Okay, now I'm going to take my knife again, the one that we've been using to cut. 
Now I'm going to make sure you can see this on camera. I'm going to slice my piece of book open here. I'm going to go all the way around all four edges. Hopefully you guys can see this really well, what I'm doing. See how I'm opening it up there? All four edges. And you want to make sure it's completely open because your book will go in the center because this is the front and the back cover of a book. So make sure you get all the corners and everything and then it's all open all the way around. Okay, I'm just double checking all my corners here. Looking good. Okay, now at this point, you could just set it and leave it overnight and let it dry. Or you could put it in a, in a very low oven, like 200, 250, and it'll dry a little quicker, depending on how badly you want to do your project. Also at this point, you could stamp into the paper clay while it's still wet and get some images. I'm actually, I want a leather look, so I'm going to take a piece of foil that I just crinkled up here and got lots of um, crevices on it. And that's what I'm going to use to press into it a little bit, just to give it some texture, because I want to use, I want a, um, I want it to look like leather when I'm done. So I'm just pressing in there. Also at this point, if you're going to put anything on your book, like I'm going to use this really cool knob, isn't that cool? It's got these two brads that I need to put in there. So I'm going to find the where I want my edge, and I'm going to put those in there. And I'm just going to push down a little bit, pull it back out. And now I can see where my brads go. So I'm going to take a stick or any type of um, item that will allow me to go through the clay. And I'm going to make two holes. Hopefully you can see this. See those two holes I just made? And that's for later on, when I'm all done, I'm going to have my brads go through there and I can open them up on the inside. So there we go. And like I said, some texture to the front because I want it to look like leather. And if you think about leather, it's got a lot of lines and just tons of texture to it. And then I'm going to actually, you can paint this, which is what I'm going to do once it dries. You can paint your clay to look. I'm going to use some browns and stuff to make it look like leather. And don't forget your backside because that's also got to look like leather. Lots and lots of texture. So I'm going to go put this in the oven and let it bake up and become all nice and hard. And when I'm done, I can pull this book apart, and I can pull that foil out, and I've got a front and back cover of a future book. Thanks for joining me here in my studio. Stop back and see what I make with this. Well, welcome back to my studio. My paper clay book has dried now, so now I need to take it apart. Remember, we have that foil thing in the center. See how easy it's coming apart on you? on me. If you have a little bit of problems, you can take that little knife I was using and um, go around the edges. Now, just to do a little bit of cleaning, I'm going to go around and just do some quick sanding. Nothing too much because I want it to be a little bit of rusty, you know, kind of rustic looking. But just to clean up some edges. And see how great those holes came out for that piece I'm going to put in later? They're perfect. So after I'm done here, which I'm not going to do on camera, you can paint it, you can stain it, you can do anything you want to it. It is paper. So that's what's really great about this product, it's paper. And then I will turn it into a book, this being my front cover. And this being my back cover. See where the book will be inside? Isn't that cool? Thanks for stopping here at my studio. And enjoy your t I enjoyed our time together. Remember to check out my blog at terrysprowl.blogspot.com. Bye-bye.